Welcome to this video. Uh, so basically in this video we will be discussing some concepts of Internet of Things and also we will be solving some of the simple MCQs on Internet of Things and just discuss all the concepts behind them. So uh, let's just start with the MCQs. So the first one over here we have is ITU created a connectivity framework for IoT. It included which of the following? Uh, so when Internet of Technology, the concept started, everyone was, you know, trying to figure out that what exactly it will be like and uh, how people will, you know, think when they talk about IoT and all that stuff. So ITU came with a network framework. Uh, so network framework involved many things. So over here we have option anytime connection, any place connection, anything connection. So the answer here is option number D. Uh, all these three were, uh, so basically this was the concept created by ITU. Ki jaha jaha IoT present hoga, we will be able to have a connection whenever we want. We will be able to have a connection wherever we want and we will be able to connect anything we want. Okay, if you want to have thing to thing connection, human to thing connection, human to human connection between PCs and everywhere. And the time, the time is basically we will be able to fetch real time content. We will be able to, you know, take the data anytime we want, daytime, nighttime. And when it comes to place, we will be able to place the IoT devices uh, underwater. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we, will, we won't think about the latitude, longitude, or, you know, multiple parameters at any place we want. So ITU decided that IoT will be such a technology in which we will be able to have any time connection, any place connection and anything connection. So what is an atom in IoT? So uh, we all know what is the atom. The atom is the smallest unit which cannot be divided further. So IoT is basically made up of objects or things you can say. So these objects are connected together, they communicate, they exchange data and they come up uh, then they help us to you know come up with a result so what is an atom in iot the options we have is a is object network internet and none of above so the right option is option number a object uh, whenever we you know uh, uh, see iot uh, it is basically a connection of some sensors some actuators some middleware in between some tags some readers so every single one of them generally is called an object when we connect these objects and we, you know, uh, have a communication between them, uh, such objects are called, uh, such things are called as object. We cannot, you know, divide the concept any further. So in Internet of Things, tags, RFID, sensor, actuator, etc. are considered as an object. Okay. Uh, uh, from the below options, choose an appropriate one for IoT. Okay. If I'm given a choice, uh, will I go with IP version 4 or IP version 6? Uh, the correct answer is option number B, IP v6. Why we will go with IP v6 is because IP v6 uh, provides larger addressing uh, space than IP v4. Uh, now we are all aware that uh, with, you know, passing time, uh, the mobile phones or the laptops or, you know, the devices are increasing day by day. So for routing purposes, we have to assign them IP addresses, MAC addresses and many more things. In such a case, if we want a huge number of devices, you know, who, which are able to acquire such addresses, we are supposed to go with a version uh, which provided a larger addressing space. So the answer is IPv6. Uh, now let's move on to the next question. Question number four, which of the following is used for secure short range communication? Okay, so over we have NFC. Uh, that is near field communication, then we have RFID, then we have Bluetooth and Zigbee. Uh, so the right answer is NFC. Uh, whenever we want to have a communication which, which we, we are only required short ranges. Okay, so why to go for the difficult devices when you have something which provides short range? So the answer is NFC. Uh, NFC has range of four centimeters. If you want to have a communication between objects within uh, the range of four centimeters, the best thing you can go for is with NFC. In such cases, what happens is that uh, since the range is restricted, uh, there are less chances of, you know, uh, what we can say that uh, signal interference. Uh, 
since the area will be small they will have a communication in smaller uh, range so the uh, interference of signals will be neglected so that is the reason it is called secure also when it comes to short range communication then we'll move on to question number 5 which of the following uh, a senses nearby environment and converts those senses to signals so the options over here we have sensors rfid actuators and transponder before choosing the right option uh, we will discuss each one of them that what exactly are they now what exactly are sensors sensors are basically which you know sense something like we have a humidity sensor uh, that uh, you know Uh, tells us okay, itna humidity hai mere aaju baaju. Then we have light sensor which you know detects the change in light. Then we have biometric sensors which you know uh, read the biometrics. Then we have RFID. RFID are uh, radio frequency uh, identifier devices. Uh, these RFID are used to identify something. Uh, uh, for example, there is a tag on your laptop and you scan it. Uh, the all the information provided by that the uh, tag would be about the laptop so this is called an rfid tag they are similar to barcode but they are more advanced version then we have something called as actuators uh, those who have studied about artificial intelligence will be well aware of what exactly an actuator is actuator is basically a thing uh, given it you know does an action uh, like for example in my body uh, my arm or my fingers are actuators if i tell them they do something so basically anything that does an action after given in you know a uh, command is an actuator then we have transponder transponder is nothing but a tag present under rfid so let's get back to the question the question was which of the following senses nearby environment and converts those to signal the answer is option number a sensors are the devices which you know sense the nearby environment and they convert those senses to signals uh then we have a question what is the full form of mirc the options we have are none of below then uh, magne- magnetic ink character reception magnetic internet character recognition and magnetic ink character recognition uh the answer would be straight forward magnetic ink character recognition uh, recognition is the full form of micr then we will move on to question number 7 again it is a straight forward question what is full form of mqtt uh, this is the most favorite question uh, the options we have is mass message queuing telemetry transport message queuing telemetry uh, transport okay and then we have message query t- uh, transport telemetry uh, so the answer is option number a uh, i know the option a and b are same but the full form of mqtt is message queuing telemetry transport MQTT protocol is used to you know have communication between two devices uh, okay now which is uses pub- published subscriber model so the answer is MQTT again uh, MQTT uh, what happens exactly in MQTT is that uh, there are many uh, publishers and subscribers so what exam happens is that uh, uh, for example there is a laptop okay and uh, oh no i will i will i'll change the thing let's say in terms of iot a bit uh, for example i have a, a humidity sensor okay and there are five uh, arduino boards that have subscribed to my humidity sensor now humidity sensor will publish the data and those who have subscribed to my humidity sensor all will get the data Uh, it is not like request response aisa nahi hoga ki ek ek cardino request karega fir wo usko response dega aur acknowledge hoga nahi it is like a published subscriber jin jin logon ne subscribe kiya hai un unko main sabko ek sath data broadcast karunga so when we need such thing when we do not need a request response thing when we just need a public subscriber model we go with mqtt protocol mqtt protocol is basically used when you know we have to broadcast a message to multiple people uh, without them acknowledging us back or we have we want to have a light conversation acknowledge karne mein kaise message transfer bahut zyada ho jata hai so in such cases we go with mqtt uh, which of the following is open standard mqtt coap rest or none of above the answer is coap 
COAP is open standard. Uh, now question number 10. Which of the following is an electromechanical device that will measure acceleration forces? Uh, the option we have is pressure sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor and none of above. Uh, so obviously, uh, pressure sensor is not the one and proximity sensor is also not the one. So the answer is accelerometer. Whenever we are dealing with acceleration forces, we have to go with accelerometer sensor. Now question number 11. Which of the following is an photodetector? Pressure sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor and light sensor. Uh, the answer is option number D, light sensor. Uh, which of the following is used to detect water present in the surrounding? Uh, pressure sensor, accelerometer, proximity sensor and humidity sensor. The answer is option number D, humidity sensor. Uh, it's just straightforward. Like you have to go with humidity sensor if you want to you know, detect the presence of water in the environment. Now question number 13. Which technology is used when we want to do read and write operations? The options are RFID barcode sensor and actuators uh, let us talk about each one of them that what exactly they are rfid is basically a tag uh, which has a reader similarly just some look market mein jate hai, and i'm shopping karte hai, there is a uh, barcode present yeah gp ke time jab hum log qr code scan karte hai. but rfid is something different rfid is more advanced form it is a tag uh, present with antenna it communicates with reader through electromagnetic waves. Radio frequencies exchange. Okay. Basically, it is more advanced form. Uh, malls and all may RFID tags lage hote kapdo pe taaki koi chori kare to unhe pata chale. Uh, isme uh, hum log read and write operations kar sakte hain. So the answer is option number A. Barcode mein kaisa hota hai? Barcode is a tag jisme antenna aisa sab kuch bhi nahi hota. Uh, so barcodes are printed on chips ka packet, barcode, barcodes are present, printed on, you know, uh, the banners we have for Paytm and GPay ka thing. So basically barcodes are just, you know, you just scan them. We only do read operation on them. Then sensors, we know what are sensors and we also know what are actuators. So the most advanced form is RFID. And RFID is one of, one of the most important uh, you know, technology which enables us to have a better work with IoT and IOE. So the answer is option number A, RFID. Then we will move on to question number 14. Why communication automation is done through PLC, power line communication, true or false? The answer is true. Whenever we want to go with wired communication, we go with PLC. Whenever we want to go with wireless connections, we go with RFID. IoT uses TCP IP protocol for communication. Uh, the answer is true. IoT goes with TCP IP protocol for communication. Uh, okay, so the next question is the minimum uh, detectable signal level for a radio uh, uh, is called its sensitivity, read range, range or none. So the answer is sensitivity. Sensitivity is the minimum detectable uh, signal level. Uh, like just signal level ka detectable range kam hoga, hum usse bolenge ki it is less sensitive and just ka zada hoga, so more sensitive bolenge. What modulation is performed in FSK? So FSK is frequency shifting key. So the answer is frequency. Uh, depending up, uh, upon what message we have to send, hum log frequency ko kam zada karte hain simple hai. if your frequency is very high it is considered as binary one if the frequency is uh, low or none it is considered as binary zero if you want to go with ask hum log amplitude change karte hai wave ka if you want to go with time hum log time uh, change karte hai the way we send the data now what can we use uh, can we use the same antenna for reception and transmission in iot devices can a single uh, antenna be used as uh, both transmitter and receiver? The answer is uh, true. Such are called as monostatic. When we have two different antennas, it is called bistatic. What is range of NFC? So we previously discussed NFC is a, a secure sensor, a secure a short range communication device. So the answer is four centimeter. 
if you want to have a communication within 4 cm or at 4 cm the best thing you can go with, with is nfc now which of the following is iot enabling technology the answer is wsn uh, wireless sensor networks then we have bluetooth router and none of these the answer is option number a wsn uh, so this is the end of the video i completed 20 mcqs based on iot internet of things and ioe combined so I have never made any videos on IOE, IOT or RFID. I recently did that because I do not know what exactly the response will be. If, if I get good views on such videos, I'll, I will be making more. And I just want to appreciate and thank you anyone who has watched till the end uh, because I know it takes a lot of patience to study nowadays. Uh, so just uh, thank you, stay happy, stay cool.